one of my favorite uh, recipes, Greek kebab. Let's see the ingredients for the day. First we have uh, 400 grams of uh, beef mincemeat, 2 eggs, 200 grams of uh, old uh, bread, black pepper, sea salt, breadcrumbs, oregano, sweet uh, smoked paprika, one uh, chopped uh, clove of garlic, one uh, small uh, chopped onion, some uh, cow milk and uh, tomato juice. First, get a deep uh, plate. Put uh, the old bread. And uh, add uh, the milk. Now, get a big uh, bowl, add the beef mincemeat, the chopped onion, the garlic, oregano, black pepper, sea salt, the tomato juice, smoked paprika, Two egg uh, yolks, and uh, some extra virgin olive oil. Now squeeze the bread And add it to the bowl. Smash it first. With uh, the bread, with the milk, uh, we need it because uh, our kebab after will be more uh, light, more soft. Okay. Now, 
mix the ingredients with your heads very slowly and soft not hard because if you mix uh, the ingredients very very strongly hard our mixture will be very tight take your time and mix the ingredients slow Now we can put the breadcrumbs. When, uh, when the mixture uh, stuck into your heart, it means uh, it's ready. kitchen membrane and cover the bowl Freeze for uh, 30 minutes. Now, when uh, we are waiting uh, the kebabs, I will accompany it, uh, this dish with uh, basmati rice. Get a pot and remember for one cup of rice you need uh, two and a half uh, cups of uh, water. Put first the water. And uh, add only sea salt. Now we must wait until uh, the water uh, is ready. Let's get out the mixture of green kebab. And for uh, the last ingredient uh, for the Greek kebab, it is the fresh parsley. I leave uh, the parsley last because I want it uh, very fresh. 
five minutes before uh, we cook. Now mix it again to go everywhere the, the fresh parsley. Get uh, some uh, grease proof uh, paper. And we will prepare uh, the kebabs before cooking. Now we need uh, the Greek kebabs in every shape you want. Here in Greece we make the shape like this. And I will explain to you why we make uh, this shape. Because when uh, we cook the kebabs, we can cook uh, in every side. Like this, like this, like this, like this. It is more easy to cook and more fast. Now the water is ready and uh, my cameraman uh, he will put the rice side. <laughs> put the put the rice. Okay, close the lid again. Perfect. We will boil uh, the rice for uh, almost 10 minutes. Now our uh, Greek kebabs is uh, ready for cooking. You will need a grill pan. 
open your kitchen and preheat uh, very well uh, the pan. Get some uh, extra virgin olive oil and uh, kitchen brush because you need the olive oil uh, because uh, our meat it's, it's not fat. It is only beef and uh, the fat is uh, very low. That's why, why you need uh, the extra virgin olive oil. You can accompany it also the kebabs with baked potatoes, fried potatoes, some pasta. Now our uh, rice is ready. I will show to you uh, a tip. When your rice is ready, get the towel. Cover the pot without uh, the lid. And put again the lid uh, on the top. And leave it uh, like this until uh, you you use uh, the rice. Now our uh, grill pan is ready, and I will insert the Greek kebabs. Put some extra virgin olive oil. And uh, turn it uh, very fast at the beginning. Every every 30 seconds. We will grill uh, the Greek kebab for uh, almost 8 to 10 minutes. I think it is a very easy recipe and believe me, extremely tasty. After almost 12 to 15 minutes, our Greek kebabs is ready. Close your kitchen. And now you have two choices. Get a nice plate. You can serve the basmati rice as uh, it is or you can put uh, the rice into the pan to get all uh, the flavor of uh, extra virgin olive oil and the meat. Me, I prefer the second choice.
mix a bit the rice. Just for a minute. To get all the flavor from the kebab. Okay, that's it. Put the kebabs. Garnish with some fresh tomato. And fresh chopped green peppers. And our meal is ready. Thank you for watching uh, my friends. I hope uh, you like this recipe. I see you in the next week. Bye bye.